All right, so let's rephrase this. This is central body, okay? What do you mean by the path? The path is the orbit, all right? This is the position one. So you can say one and two. And this you can say, you can well just call it zero. So if you're looking at triangle zero, one, two. So one is the position at time t. Two is the position at t plus dt. You get that? This would be v into dt. Okay? We're calling this angle phi or phi and um, so if this angle is phi, this angle will also be phi, right? So this would be r sin phi. Why do we need that? Right, it's the base, to get the base. Uh, I'll show you. So we are interested in this triangle. Okay? So this triangle looks something like this. interested in this triangle, one, sorry, zero, one, two, right? So if you want the area of this triangle, area of this triangle would be half base into height of this triangle. Area of the triangle, what is the area of the triangle? So, for example, if I just rotate this, think about this. The area of this triangle, A, B, C, would be half B, C into this height, right? AD. Correct? That's the, how you calculate the area. So we need to know what what is DA? What is DA over DT? So DA over DT So if you're if you're considering that just the area, you can say this is V D T. Right? If it is area is not be a vector. It's important. I'll stop lecturing, you can finish with that. You're either sleeping or you're doing this. I mean So don't do that. If you see this, what you're going to see is yes. Okay. Now this is dA dt is equal to half into V sine C into V perpendicular, which is 
equal to H over 2. Got it? So, what this means is, if you remember from last class, I, I told you guys that Kepler's second law means that the angular momentum is angular momentum is conserved, right? Do you see the relationship? Do you see this is why this is R V? Why is that? What is V sine C? Miss Cooper, what is V sine phi? So you have, see if you resolve this, this is V, this is V component, right? Just look at this for a minute. This is V component, correct? So if you resolve this, This is V sin C. You agree? The tangential component. This is the V cosine C. This is the radial component, not radial. Radial component. Radial component. See, this, this is in the radial direction. What do you mean the radial? Central body. This is a radius. That is the reason this is a radial component. This is the tangential component. It is acting perpendicular to the radial component. And this contributes, last class we proved that only this contributes to the angular momentum, specific angular momentum. Okay, so this proves your Kepler's second law. And this could be on the exam or assignment. Okay. equal areas, so it means are swept out in equal times. Next, this thing, what we are going to do is, um, we looked at two body relative motion, right? The statement, the two body relative motion statement was R double dot plus mu over R cubed into R is equal to zero. Now, if you look at this, this is like a problem statement. All right. This is the problem statement and this is also the something called the governing equation. If you have a governing equation, what do you need? What do you need from this? What are you looking from this? You are looking at figuring out what R is. The solution is, so here, the solution would 
b to find an expression for r or r okay from homework 1 have we have this r dotted with r dot is equal to r dot or not just this for homework 1 for any vector a the vector a dotted with its derivative is equal to magnitude into the derivative of the magnitude if you haven't started with this please start you don't have much time and the homework is due on monday right so let's look at let's call this a cross a with h on both sides so what you're going to get is r Cross with h plus mu over r cube. R cross with h is equal to zero. with h is equal to minus mu over r cube r cos h okay left hand side dt of r crossed with h minus hmm it's right hand side hmm that's what you think okay left hand side right the left hand side can be written as for you it is right hand side no for you also it is left hand side okay now each dot is zero
right hand side can be written as one over r cube. equal to 1 over r cube into r cross with r cross with r dot. So this would be 1 over r cube. Do you follow this? Huh? All right. It's actually pretty simple. Do you follow? Okay, figure it out. Figure it out and tell me. Good job. Very good job. So H is constant. H is conserved. So H dot has to be zero. Okay. So you have, so that's the reason that goes to zero. So you have this, we can say this is written as this. This is the first result. Now, let's look at right hand side. Okay. So right hand side is this. Sami, you're with me? Right hand side. So what I've done is, I've split open H. What is H? Angular momentum R cross V, right? You have R crossed with R cross V, and this is back chapter group. Very good. Minus. So this is back cap rule. Okay? So we use back cap rule here. Now this compare this and this result. This is the assignment from the first assignment, right? A, vector A dotted with its derivative is equal to magnitude into its derivative. So what we have done is, this is vector dotted with its derivative is magnitude into its derivative. We have used this result, result minus right. And this is uh, r dotted with r is just r square. Okay. So you have now you have if you just this r goes with r square and this r will be one of the r will go with r square. Okay. 
fairly simple it's it's you can you can just if you just stare at it you'll definitely get it okay so what you see here is you guys have not you guys want to take a picture of this yeah it'll be on youtube you good What now? What we are going to say is, we can say d over dt of r over r vector r over r is equal to. So what is Help me out here, okay? So this is what you use. You use a quotient rule, correct? So what does quotient rule say? R, the denominator R, into R dot minus R to R dot, right? Over R square. That's pretty much that, right? Do you see it? So this that can be written as this d over r vector r into over scalar r. All right. So you you see we have expressed both the left hand side and the right hand side as huh? Huh? It's different. That's what you want. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Good catch. So you can say, therefore, right hand side of let's say let's call this. b right hand side of b minus 1 over r cube um uh, vector r into h or cross h is equal to minus d over Or d over dt of r over r. Did we start with the minus for this? No. Okay. this was the this was c and let's call this d substituting c and d in b what are you going to get is d over dt Over 
mu is just a constant. So if you just, you can always just take it out. If you add it in the derivative, not, uh, it, it's not going to make any difference. Okay? That is R crossed with H minus mu R over R is equal to constant where C is a is a vector, Laplace vector, where C is a constant, and it's called Laplace vector. body relative motion. Huh? Right, that's A. B is this. what we did in this was the first again let me Sammy so this is what we are trying to do here is we are trying to figure out a solution for the two body relative motion problem this is your first result first major result for the solution. So let's call it Roman numeral 1. We know C is a constant and H is also a constant. Okay. Therefore, C dotted with H, which we will represent using vector E as also a constant. Rearranging E R cross with H, H
Donc le Look at one. What you have here is vector R over R plus P is equal to So for now, let's not do this, okay? Where E is simply C over mu. Okay? So C over mu is again a constant because C is a constant and mu is a constant. Okay? So you have that. And let's take dot product of above with R. Have R dotted with R over R plus E dotted with R is equal to R cross with H mu R. This is going to be R plus R E cosine theta is equal to eight square over mu. Okay. Square over mu into one over one plus e cosine theta m. This is the solution to two body. relative motion problem. Hmm? All right, yeah. So were you able to follow this transition from here to here? We, this is this. All we did was we divided the whole expression by mu. So this is this term. C over mu is E. Okay? And this just remains as it is. If you divide by mu, the mu vanishes. So vector R over R. We took this and we dotted this with vector r, right? r dotted with r over r plus e dotted with r, this dotted with r. 
Okay? You are with me? R dotted with R is what? R square. R square over R is? R. Okay? Plus E dotted with R is what? This is the definition of dot product. Vector, uh, sorry, scalar R or magnitude of vector R, magnitude of vector E into cosine theta, where theta is the angle between R and E. How did we get this? A square over mu. This is actually pretty simple. So, side, okay? We'll just finish this and you can get going. Right, right. That is, so he's right. He's absolutely right. What you have is A dotted with C, okay? V, or you have A dotted with B cross C, right? We can change. We can interchange this because this is a cross product, cross, uh, sorry, dot product. This vector into this vector is interchangeable, it's co commutative. So A dot B is B dot A. A dot B cross C is equal to C dot A cross B. We have shown this cyclically we can rotate and this is also equal to B dot C cross A. So you see the cyclic rotation? So this came here, this came here, this came here. For this. Again for this, you can cyclically rotate. This came here. Okay? Now if you do that, what you are going to get is, so you do R dotted with H, right? This is the same thing as this. This also should be equal to H dotted with right? What is this? Austin? What is, what is this quantity in the bracket? H? So you have H dotted with H is equal to, so H square over mu, the mu just remains as it is, okay? So H square over mu, now if I just take R common, it will be 1 plus E cosine theta in brackets, right? And I move that to the denominator, right? This gives you, now before we close out, See, this is, think about this, if you have any orbit, again this is the top view of the orbit, so this is that this is the E vector, generally this is the E vector and at any position this is R. And this is that theta. Got it? This is the E vector and this is the R vector. The theta is the angle between the E vector and the R vector. Okay? Knowing this theta, so R, this R, the position of R is only a function of that theta. Why? Because H is constant. H is conserved. Mu is constant because it's a gravitational parameter and for a given two body problem this is always constant. E is also constant, we just showed that. So it's always, R is only a function of theta. 
where theta is called the true anomaly. We'll discuss this in the next class. This is the solution to the two-body problem. This is the second most important thing. The first most important thing is the, the, the relative motion governing equation, which is r double dot plus mu over r cube r equal to zero, right? So we'll start the, here in next class.